What are the best places to visit in Los Angeles? Find out in the next 15 minutes. I'll guide you through over 50 fantastic places to visit in LA and a few you might want to skip. Did you know that Los Angeles is not just one city? It consists of 88 cities, including LA itself. Places like Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, and West Hollywood are independent cities, each with its own mayor and city council. In this video, you will see top spots both within LA and in nearby areas. Enjoy the tour. First up is the Hollywood Walk of Fame, which boasts 2,800 stars dedicated to actors, musicians, sports figures, and other celebrities. Only about 20 new stars are added each year. This star-studded boulevard is probably the most visited tourist spot in LA. When I first visited Los Angeles, I was profoundly disappointed to see a homeless man sleeping on the star of my favorite singer, Michael Jackson. Now I understand this is the real Hollywood vibe in the City of Angels, poverty and luxury coexist here. See the red carpet? That's the Dolby Theater, home to the annual Oscar ceremony. Quick tip, park in a shopping mall for less expensive parking, and don't forget to validate your parking ticket if you visit a cinema. Speaking of cinema, the TCL Chinese Theater is a destination in its own right. Nearby, you'll find nearly 200 handprints, footprints, and signatures of celebrities in cement. The tradition started in 1927 when Norma Talmadge accidentally stepped into wet cement during a tour with Sid Grauman. Here you can see the handprints of Marilyn Monroe, Frank Sinatra, Clint Eastwood, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and many others, including Emma Stone, Emma Watson, and icons like Clark Gable, Humphrey Bogart, and Elizabeth Taylor. Not to mention the imprints of R2-D2 and C-3PO robots, and Darth Vader. Consider taking a bus tour through Hollywood to capture the real vibe of LA and Hollywood. I advise starting in West Hollywood, not downtown. Santa Monica Boulevard is bustling with cafes, health food restaurants, clubs, and endless entertainment. Cruise along Sunset Boulevard, then head over to Beverly Hills. Stop by the Beverly Wilshire, the famous hotel from the movie Pretty Woman. Explore the chic boutiques on Rodeo Drive. While I can't afford most of what they sell, it's still a wonderful place to stroll and window shop. The area also features a variety of museums, cafes, and more affordable stores, ensuring there's something captivating for everyone. If you decide to take a bus tour, check the description for links to tour tickets. Also, if you prefer to rent a car, I have some special links that might interest you. The next iconic landmark is, of course, the Hollywood sign. One of the closest places to drive for a good view is Lake Hollywood Park. If you're up for a closer look, consider hiking to the sign. It will take about one to two hours, depending on the trail you choose. My favorite spot in LA is Griffith Observatory. The view of Los Angeles from here is breathtaking, both day and night. You may recognize the observatory from over 170 movies, including La La Land, Jurassic Park, Back to the Future, Terminator, Transformers, and many others. Admission to Griffith Observatory is free, and it offers a variety of fascinating exhibitions. If you plan to catch a sunset, which is spectacular from there, make sure to arrive at least an hour early. Parking spaces fill up fast. Another location with an astonishing view is Angel's Point in Elysian Park. This spot is less touristy, with fewer crowds and free parking, Yet, it offers a fantastic panorama of various parts of Los Angeles. After visiting Angel's Point, you might drive down to Dodger Stadium. It's impressive, even when there's no game. Los Angeles is home to many remarkable stadiums. The Rose Bowl Stadium has hosted two Summer Olympic Games, five Super Bowls, the 1994 World Cup Finals, and concerts by artists such as Metallica, Guns N' Roses, Eminem, Rihanna, Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Michael Jackson. I wish I could have been there. The Hollywood Bowl has seen performances by Elton John, Van Morrison, The Who, Kanye West, and many others. SoFi Stadium hosted the Super Bowl in 2022 and will host another in 2027, as well as the opening of the 2026 FIFA World Cup. The Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. When it hosts the 2028 Summer Olympics, the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum will become the first stadium ever to have hosted the Games three times. Near the LA Memorial Coliseum, you'll find the impressive Exposition Park, which includes the Natural History Museum, the beautiful Rose Garden, the California African American Museum, the California Science Center, which is free to enter and offers a wide range of engaging science exhibitions. If you're keen on exploring more museums in LA, continue with the Los Angeles County Museum of Art, or LACMA, 
Nearby, you can visit the La Brea Tar Pits, but if you are not particularly interested in paleontology or natural history, you might want to skip it. A must-see at this location is the Academy Museum. Believe it or not, Oscar winners legally cannot sell their statues. If they wish to sell, they must offer the statue back to the Academy for just one dollar. At the museum, you can see several real Oscar statues that were returned to the Academy. Just across the road is the Peterson Automotive Museum, where you can explore not only the history of automotive, but also iconic cars like the Batmobile, Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds, the DeLorean from Back to the Future, and much more. You can also visit the Grammy Museum near the LA Live Sports and Entertainment District, Another astounding museum to check out is the Getty. There are two, the Getty Center and the Getty Villa, and I recommend visiting both. And of course, there's the Broad, opened in 2016. It was named Museum Architecture of the Year and received the Best New Museum of the Year Award. Discover for yourself what makes the Broad the best new museum in the US. So here we are in downtown. Let's explore what's hidden here. There's a lot to do, I promise. First up is the stunning Disney Concert Hall, the LA Opera, and the Music Center. Wander through Grand Park to reach the LA City Hall, which you can visit for free during regular working hours. Don't miss the chance to glide down a glass slide at OE Sky Space. You can take a ride on the Angels Flight Railroad. It's cute, but it's a one-time attraction. Indulge in street food at Grand Central Market. I also love the food at the original Farmer's Market and shopping at The Grove. I just adore its atmosphere. Here's an interesting fact. The original Farmer's Market is visited by about 3 million people each year, and about one third of them are tourists. Don't go to Skid Row. You won't enjoy this area. Also, I don't recommend Pershing Square. It's somewhat dull and there isn't much to do. Don't go to MacArthur Park due to the high number of homeless people there. Instead, visit Echo Park, which is great for picnics and outdoor activities. What is worth visiting is Little Tokyo, especially if, if you're into Japanese culture or cuisine, then head over to Chinatown. I love the authenticity and architecture here. Even the gas stations have roofs with curved edges like traditional Chinese pagodas. I really like this. And of course, there's the traditional Chinese food. From Chinatown, you can easily walk to Olvera Street, one of the oldest streets in LA. This historic pedestrian street offers a taste of Mexican culture and a piece of history. Just around the corner, you'll find the beautiful Union Station. You'll probably recognize it from movies like Blade Runner, The Dark Knight Rises, Pearl Harbor, Catch Me If You Can, and many others. I hope you're not tired yet. I never get tired of discovering wonderful places. Stay with me until the end and let me know if I missed anything. Next up, like nowhere else, is Carroll Avenue in Angelino Heights. This street and the surrounding neighborhood are lined with Victorian-era houses. It has been the backdrop for numerous films, featuring iconic locations such as the Charmed House from the famous TV series, Dominic Toretto's house from Fast and Furious, the house from Michael Jackson's Thriller, and other unique and beautiful homes. Speaking of movies, the next must-visit is Universal Studios. Here you'll enjoy a studio tour, see movie sets for Jurassic Park, Jaws, and many more, experience the marvelous Waterworld attraction, visit Hogwarts and Hogsmeade Village, Super Mario Land, and Springfield from The Simpsons. If you're willing to spend, you can buy a hoverboard from Back to the Future with an authentic signature or a robe and wand from Harry Potter. There are other amusement parks worth visiting, just five minutes from Universal is Warner Brothers Studio. There are fewer attractions here, but you can also take a studio tour to see sets from Friends, The Big Bang Theory, and witness the magic of film creation. The original Walt Disney Studios is just five minutes from Warner Brothers Studio. Take a tour here. Disneyland Park is a bit farther, between one and two hours away, depending on traffic. Technically, Disneyland isn't in Los Angeles. It's located in the city of Anaheim, which is in Orange County, right next to LA. But does that really matter? It's well worth the visit. The park includes Disneyland and Disney California Adventure Park. I love both for different reasons. Disneyland for its Star Wars section, which feels utterly real. They even created space snacks and special spherical Coke bottles, as if you're in the Star Wars universe. Learn to assemble a Jedi sword, build a droid, or pilot the Millennium Falcon for unforgettable memories. The rest of Disneyland is, in my opinion, mostly for kids. Disney California Adventure Park offers more adult-friendly entertainment, including Guardians of the Galaxy, Radiator Springs Racers from Cars, The Little Mermaid Adventure, Toy Story, and other fascinating attractions. 
For thrill seekers, consider making the drive to Six Flags Magic Mountain Park. Known as the thrill capital of the world, it holds the record for the most roller coasters in an amusement park with 20 exhilarating rides. I'll provide booking links for many of the attractions highlighted in this video in the description below. If you're not yet tired of movies, visit Paramount and Sony Studios for more studio tours. For a more tranquil experience, you may visit some cemeteries. They're all in beautiful locations and help me sort out my thoughts. My favorite cemetery, yes, it's a bit odd to have a favorite cemetery, but in LA it's quite possible, is Forest Lawn Hollywood Hills. It offers a stunning view and a sense of tranquility. Notables buried here include Clark Gable, Elizabeth Taylor, Humphrey Bogart, Walt Disney, and Michael Jackson, though Jackson's grave is in a private area and not visible. Inglewood Park Cemetery is the final resting place of Ray Charles, Ella Fitzgerald, Sugar Ray Robinson, and others. Hollywood Forever, perhaps the most famous cemetery, is where you can find the graves of Joe Dassin, Victor Fleming, and other notable celebrities. The Los Angeles National Cemetery houses the graves of numerous members of entertainment royalty and military veterans. Lastly, at Pierce Brothers Westwood Village Memorial Park and Mortuary, you can find Ray Bradbury and Hugh Hefner. Marilyn Monroe was buried here, as well as Frank Zappa, who lies in an unmarked grave. Another tranquil gem is the Huntington Gardens and Library in Pasadena. While you're here, visit the Los Angeles County Arboretum nearby. And don't miss the stunning Pasadena City Hall, a masterpiece of Spanish and Mediterranean architecture. Take a stroll around Caltech, the famed California Institute of Technology. Caltech alumni have founded companies such as Intel, Compaq, and Hotmail. Additionally, the Big Bang Theory was filmed here. If you love mountains, take a drive from here to the Angeles National Forest and head up towards Mount Wilson Observatory. Besides the observatory, you will find telecommunication antennas and another breathtaking panorama of LA, where you can stand at a level with the clouds. Did you know that you can go skiing in Los Angeles? Just two hours from downtown at Big Pines Park is the Mountain High Resort, a fantastic ski destination. Only five minutes from there, you'll find Blue Ridge Vista Point, an inspirational place where clouds seem to be born. And finally, you must visit the ocean while in LA. It's the soul of the city. Remember the movie City of Angels? Experience a sunrise or sunset at the ocean. One of the most famous beaches is Santa Monica Beach. Visit the Santa Monica Pier, where a sign marks the end of the legendary American highway, Route 66, which stopped only because the sea blocked its path. Explore the bustling Santa Monica 3rd Street Promenade. After Santa Monica, head to Venice Beach, the quintessential LA beach. Famous for its boardwalk and artistic flair, Venice Beach also holds the title as the birthplace of skateboarding. Tucked away between roads, discover the charming Venice canals. Los Angeles boasts 25 beaches along its 76-mile coastline, each with its own unique charm and beauty. I love the seafood at Redondo Beach, watching airplanes fly overhead at El Segundo Beach, and exploring the Queen Mary ship and museum at Long Beach. I enjoy barbecuing with friends at Huntington Beach, visiting Balboa Island at Newport Beach, and the unparalleled views at Laguna Beach and Dana Point. And of course, Malibu and Malibu Beach. Consider taking a boat to Catalina Island, where you can watch whales, dolphins, and seals on your way to or from Long Beach, observe the huge port of Los Angeles. I'm always amazed by the myriad containers, cranes, and bustling activity. It's absolutely fascinating. Visit Battleship Iowa Museum near the port. Unfortunately, you can no longer visit the Wayfarer Chapel or the Glass Church due to the recent closure caused by land movement from rainfall. The last part of my list covers movie filming locations. Are you a fan of any of these movies? Back to the Future, visit Whittier High School and Puente Hills Mall. Barbie, Venice Beach, The Big Lebowski, Greystone Mansion, Pulp Fiction, Crown Pawn Shop, Blade Runner, Bradbury Building, Greece, Venice High School, Leo Carrillo Beach, The Terminator and La La Land, Griffith Observatory, Forest Gump, Santa Monica Pier, Ghostbusters, Millennium Biltmore Hotel, and many more. My final tip, don't rely on the metro rail system in LA. It's best to take a car for your trips. I hope you enjoyed my list. Want to explore more? Check this video. See you.